Hello people, it's Mel again from Stocksbridge Guitar Tech and I'm here with another quick lesson for you today. It's going to be another finger twister exercise like the one I just played in the intro there. So let's get straight to it, I'll show you this finger exercise, it's a really good one this one. The concept for this exercise is very simple, we're just going to take each finger in turn we're going to move up by one fret per finger but we're also going to move across the strings so we're going to move down one string each time so we're going to start on the fourth string the D string in the first fret and then from there we're going to move to the second fret on the third string and then we're going to move from there to the third fret but on the second string and then finally the fourth fret on the first string with the pinky finger so we're going diagonally across the strings and up one fret each time And then we're going to do it just keep that pattern going but we're going to move the hand once we get the to the pinky on the first string we're going to move everything up by one fret and start again so again then move up a fret move up a fret and keep going all the way up until we get to fret 12 with the index finger We finish here on fret 15 with the pinky finger and then we're going to turn it around and come back down so now we're going pinky down a fret ring onto the next string down a fret middle finger onto the next string and then down a fret index finger so we we're coming down like that and then once we get here we move the pinky down a fret we shift the whole thing down by one fret again and so on the other important thing is the picking hand we're doing alternate picking so we're going down up down up so we start with a down pick then we do an up then we do a down and then we do an up and then from here we've just done an up so now we need to start with a down on the fourth string again now this is very difficult this is called string skipping because we're actually missing out two strings now and going from string one to string four. So it's very important that you keep this right hand anchored down and steady. You don't want it floating in midair because you won't be able to control this uh, picking hand. You need it anchored to the guitar body somewhere and you need to keep the guitar as still as possible when you're playing this exercise you don't want to be moving it around because you, you're not going to be able to do it you're going to be you're going to be hitting the wrong notes so it's down up down up shift everything up one fret and start again down up down up Move up a fret, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and so on. 
until we get up here and then we're turning it round, turning the pattern round now and starting with the pink uh, and we're going to come back down but we're still doing down, up, down, up so now we've re reversed the picking order we're now going down on the high E string and finishing on an up on the fourth string and then from that up we've got to jump back to the first string for a down pick so very simple concept but not easy this is not an easy exercise to play but it is very very useful because it's giving you that finger independence again instead of just moving on one string up and down we're now going across four different strings and we're using that alternate picking so it's a very very hard exercise but very worthwhile especially if you're trying to get into lead guitar playing this will help you just do it for two or three minutes a day and start it off with a nice steady tempo use a metronome again I would suggest you start this at round about 80 90 beats per minute That speed is about ideal to start with, so it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, most important thing is to, is to get that down, up, down, up and keep it that way, you don't want to be going down, up, down, down, or down, down, up, down, it's got to be down, up, down, up, and then same coming down, down, up, down no. also keep it nice and steady and even don't be doing what I just did there I just did that for illustration but you don't want to go it wants to be but obviously at, at a speed that you can manage start at something like that and then gradually increase your speed the other good thing about this exercise is once you've sort of mastered that and you've got it to a, a level where you can sort of play it no problem up and down then as well as increasing the speed you can also move it down so instead of playing strings four to one you can go to strings five to two and do it there and then down to strings six to three and and it will get progressively more difficult as you move down the strings the other thing is when you get to a point where you think well I can do that across pretty much all sets of strings then you can reverse it and instead of starting with the index finger on fret 1 you can keep on the same string the fourth string but now start on fret 4 with the pinky finger and go down up down up and then move up and so on you get the idea uh, and then obviously coming back down would be the opposite of that so 
you can make it as complex as you like this exercise you can shape it to suit yourself once you've got the basic exercise there you can even do for example index finger to ring finger so from the first string to the third string and then second string to the fourth string which is really difficult <laughs> But these are all great exercises to develop that finger independence and uh, and teach you to keep your hand your right hand steady when you're playing across the strings in this diagonal fashion and teaching you to keep the guitar steady not have it moving about all the time so go away practice this just keep it nice and steady at first Keep it consistent, nice steady rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Go as slow as you need to, but just make sure that you're doing a down pick followed by an up pick each time. And so on. That's the exercise. So there you go, people. Uh, another simple exercise, but it's not easy. Very, very useful ex exercise, this one. Just do it two or three minutes per day. Don't, don't go mad with it because you'll just bore yourself. But try, try to do it for a couple of minutes a day. Just keep it nice and steady. Don't try and rush it. Don't try and go too fast. Don't get frustrated if you can't get it straight away because it's difficult when if you haven't done this type of exercise where you're going from one string to another string and moving up a fret each time. It's very, very difficult at first. So just persevere with it. If you're finding it difficult, slow it down. Do it even slower. Speed's not important. What's important is that you're getting that consistency. You're hitting the right notes and you, you're getting that down, up, down, up, down, up each time with the picking hand. So that's the lesson for today. As ever, if you enjoyed this lesson, if you found it useful or any of my previous lessons, then please subscribe to the channel don't forget to click the little bell notification and that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video but that's all from me today thanks for watching and bye for now